Welcome. We are going to try and learn about time series forecasting, answering the question that you see on the screen here. Now, time series forecasting, the basic assumption is that there is a pattern in some event. It could be the sale of your products. Um, and um, you project that pattern in the past in the future. So we are assuming that the pattern is going to repeat itself. Um, so what happens uh, whenever we do time series forecasting, we have a standard approach of time series forecasting that we take. In this case, we're trying to look at mortality. So we need past data on mortality to find the pattern. And uh, for this, we will use data up till 2019 because we are assuming that everything was um, good till 2019. There were no aliens coming to visit us to kill off people. Um, so um, we will take that data and uh, we have to make the data forecastable. So there is some changes we to, because like I said, um, the pattern has to be easily discernible. We need to identify that pattern very clearly. So, so we need to make the data closer to a pattern. We'll see one part of doing that. And then um, once we decide the pattern, we plot our data and see what kind of variability we have in our data. We use suitable multiple forecasting methods and try to forecast uh, or, or try to fit multiple models on past data. Okay. Once we do that, we find out the accuracy of those models and whichever model is more accurate for past data or whichever model fits our past data more accurately we use that model to predict 2020. Now, in this case, we already have the data for 2020. And I think the aliens visited Earth starting April 2020, when they started uh, visiting us and killing off people. So we are going to look at the difference between the actual number in 2020, April 2020 to December 2020, and the predicted. And the difference, if it is um, predicted is consistently more. That means we are seeing that there is an effect of um, those aliens coming to earth and killing of people, um, the excess deaths um, um, that we have. But anyways, this is the standard process that we are going to use. So uh, how do we do this? The first step is to get data. And uh, the best way to do it is uh, CDC Wonder, which is a database for births, deaths, and so many different things. But what you need to do is um, go to a search engine and type in CDC Wonder and Mortality. And uh, we select the data set or the idea of multiple cause of death. Again, at this point, we are not actually interested in the cause of death. Um, and then when you come to the CDC website, um, we select the data from 1999 to 2020. That gives us about 20 years of data to play with. Um, and in time series, it's always beneficial to have a long period of data because um, it, it makes pattern um, mapping or identifying a pattern more easier. Again, not always. Um, there are some subtlety to this. But so the second step is ask a request for data from this website. And as soon as we, it takes us to a third page um, where it says that blah, 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 you, we do this, we do that. Um, read it if you want to, but ultimately agree to it. And uh, once we agree, it would take us to a um, site where all the data is included. Now here we will do only two changes. I want monthly data so that I can identify how many people died every uh, month by these non-normal causes in, in, in 2020. So I want to group the results not by census region, which is the default, but by month. So I want monthly data from 1999 to 2020. And uh, since I want the data um, exported, I would want to select export results because it will export it as a text file, txt file. And uh, I don't want totals, so I just check um, the export results and uncheck the show totals. And uh, that's it. I would send click send and the data would be exported as a text file which I need to store somewhere usually it is in the download folder but um, in the next video we will start working with that text file and um, the idea is to import the text file into excel and uh, make the data forecastable see you in the next video